Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And in today's video in our PySpark uh, series, we're going to be looking at how to use um, SQL or specifically Spark SQL inside of the Databricks PySpark environment. So let's dive right into the demo. I've got my uh, Databricks Community Edition set up, which enables me to use uh, PySpark for free. So if you want to know how to set this up, uh, I'll link to that video of mine in the top right hand corner of your screen. And yeah, let's dive into the demo. So basically there's two ways that you could be wanting to use or two main ways you could be wanting to use uh, Spark SQL inside of a Databricks PySpark notebook. And uh, the first one is basically if you've got like, as you know, Databricks is a lake house uh, 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 software. So you've got two sections, you've got your structured and your unstructured data. So in your structured data, there are databases and then you have tables which hold your data in a structured manner with columns, rows, schemas and uh, constraints and stuff. And then you've got your uh, DBFS or this is your lake part. So you've got like a warehouse and a lake. So in your lake, basically you have flat files stored in a hierarchical uh, uh, folder system. So you could be wanting to use SQL to work on data from both sides. So I'll show you both. And let's begin with the table. So it's it's relatively simpler with tables since, as you know, uh, SQL is meant for working with structured data. So what you can do is you can basically just remember the table's name. So I've just got one default database. And then in that, I've got just one table sample table. And what you need to do to enable uh, SQL inside of a PySpark notebook. And what I mean by PySpark notebook is this notebook is enabled to run with Python. You can make it a, a SQL notebook, uh, but in most cases you would be using uh, Python notebooks so that you have easy access to PySpark. But in some cases within your PySpark notebook, you want to use SQL. So to do that, then you have to hit the percentage sign and write SQL. This sort of enables uh, SQL. It sort of converts the cell to an SQL first cell, and then you can write your query. So we can write, select star from table's name was sample table and then hit run. So you can see it's working, but if you don't do that uh, percentage SQL, you can see that already you can, you know that the IntelliSense is off. So there's something wrong. So when you run this, you can see we get invalid syntax, syntax because we don't have that percentage SQL, which changes the cell to a SQL cell. So let's get rid of that. So now we've seen how to access data from, and this works with all your SQL commands, your filtration, uh, you can do joins, you can do all that stuff. This is just your vanilla SQL, which will work with the tables that you have. Now, if you want to work with data that you have in the unstructured lake section of your lake house, so suppose I had this, these uh, sort of, um, CSV files that I wanted to work with, like mock data onecsv So how I would do that is, this is the code needed. I've, I didn't want to type it out in front of you, but basically what I'm doing is I'm reading this CSV file. Uh, this is the extended code, the shorter code for that. And I'll link to that video of mine, which shows you how to read a CSV into a data frame. Uh, I'll link to that in the top right corner of your screen with just, you can do that with just one or two lines of code. I've just drawn it out, but basically what it's doing is you're getting the location path. You're doing the file type, and then you want to infer the schema. The first row is the header within the data and you've got your de delimiter as a comma, which is uh, com which is normal in CSVs. And then I'm doing the spark dot read dot format. And then I'm using variables, which I'd mentioned all above here to sort of get that data into a data frame. So when we run this, we should have that CSV file in a data frame. So as you can see, we've got that uh, a CSV file right into a data frame. And now this is the important part. What you need to do is you need to create a temporary view. So we do a df dot create or replace temp view. And then we need to give it a name. So we could give it a name like mock data, which will be the name for the view, which is created from this data frame. So when we hit run, create a Oh, 
Oh yeah, sorry. The C should not be capital. So yeah, PySpark is a bit tricky like that. Anyways, so create or replace temp view mock data. So now mock data is a flat file which has been created into a view called mock data. And now we can query this view using SQL. Similar to earlier, we put the percentage SQL and then we can just do a select star from mock data. When we run this, we should get that same table which we had up there. So this is how we use um, Spark SQL inside of the Databricks PySpark environment or notebook to query data from both instances, be it from the structured side of the lake house, that is your database and tables, or from the answer structured side of your lake house, that is the lake, which contains flat files in a folder structure. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next one.